Johnsonville. Big taste from a small town. And how can you trust an announcer? Did you get a, can you get a shot of that? I mean, here's your announcer standing there reading that about Johnsonville. This is unbelievable. That might be an innuendo of where Johnsonville sausage comes from. Oh, <laughs> no, no. Just kidding. Well, folks, he is the third best cook in America and the creator of Healthcraft Cookware, Charles Knight, here hey. nighttime. And ready to make uh, shrimp Actually, you know, that Napolitano. comment you made about Oprah is not true. Why is that? Opera, uh, Oprah, opera. Oh, opera? <laughs> opera, oh, yeah, opera. Good friends with opera. Well, that's when she was larger, we used to call her opera. <laughs> right? She put her hand right on my shoulder one night. You're kidding. No, in her restaurant, it's a fact. I'll be darned. I was there with uh, Chef Tell. We had dinner at her restaurant, and she came home and visited the table and stayed for about 20 minutes. Son of a gun. Very and nice that's lady. why you haven't been on her show then. That's right. <laughs> she, she knows better. She knows better. <laughs> well, what do we do here first? Well, we're going to make shrimp napolitano, and this is really an easy dish. And this is something that uh, we have every year for either Christmas Eve or New Year's Eve. Mm. It's just absolutely delicious. We always get tons and tons, well, not tons of shrimp, but we but get a lot of shrimp. A whole bunch. So I have a friend in the shrimp business. Yeah. Okay? So the way this starts is I'm going to teach you how to do something very different. It's called a bechamel sauce. A bechamel sauce? Bech bechamel, yeah. It's a bechamel. French French sauce. It's a okay. white sauce. Okay. Now, the way you start, you take uh, one and one and a half to uh, two tablespoons of butter. One and a half to two tablespoons of butter. Yes. No, you don't want to open that. Uh, you don't open it. No, you don't know. See what it says oh, right it here. Oh, it says it right here. Yeah, never knew that, did you? No, I didn't. Okay. One and a half to two tablespoons. Yeah. That would be tablespoons. Let's see. One and a half. Oh well, man, this thing is so confusing. You'd want to think no, you'd want to think that that probably those marks are tablespoons, aren't oh, they? Oh, the big ones on the bottom. Yeah, okay, we're gonna. So get, how much did you yeah. say? <laughs> how much? Yes, let's take two. Two. We'll, we'll do two. Norm, All this right. recipe calls for one and a half. It's only twelve grams of fat. You don't want to put the paper on. No. In there. Paper does not go in a recipe. Okay. In your let's house, take that it out might, of here. but not here. All right. Okay. So you want to put you want to put the butter in here. In here? Yes. Put the butter in there. While you're doing that, I want you to notice, wipe your hands on your All apron. All right, on okay? the apron. All right. What we're cooking over here is Johnsonville sausage, just two sausage. Lengths. You can stop wiping That's your right, hands That's I got out. it off there. Right. You cut, uh, we're going to cook up two Italian sausage. We're going to take these out of the pan, uh -huh. and I'll let you slice them up, because they're going to go slice back them up. into the Lengthwise or this uh, way? This way, slice. That way, okay. Yes. Lengthwise well, is not go slicing, lengthwise. is it? Well, sure it would be. I don't Same think thing. so. Okay. Anyway. I figured this was it. But doing very good. to make sure. All right. And you want to make sure a little bit thinner. A little bit thinner. You want thinner? to make bite-sized pieces. Yes. Kind of late now. This is actually serving. <laughs> to me, that, those are bite-sized pieces. Okay. There you go. All right. This is for eight people, so that means each person will get two pieces of sausage. All right. Now. <laughs> Where do you no, want? no, no. Keep it oh, right, right there here. for right now. All right. One tablespoon of um, of uh, this. No, that's not a tablespoon. Isn't that liquid? <laughs> yeah. Over here. Oh, this. All right. That's flour. One tablespoon of flour. Where's the tablespoon? Uh, just guess. One tablespoon is a... Okay. No, no, one tablespoon is about just like this, okay? okay. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to stir this Why don't we have quickly. a tablespoon? It's not that quickly. difficult. Oh. Quickly stir, okay? Quickly stir. Well, you don't want to burn. Swipe our tablespoon, Joe. No, no, no. It's just teaching you how to You're cook like a gourmet. You're trying to challenge me, yeah. All right, just a little bit, just a little bit more. Okay. A little bit more flour. Oh, a little bit more flour. Yeah, it's not quite Another a tablespoon, or? No, yeah, that's good. Okay, that'd be good. So okay. Mix it very quickly. Another okay. forkful. To that, you want to add one half cup of skim milk or whole milk, whichever you prefer. Uh, half cup of skim milk. We want to try to make this low fat. It's only 12 to 14 milk. grams oh. of fat. Wait a minute. You must hurry here. I'm We're hurrying. I know. We're running out of half. What was that, a half cup or a quarter cup? That's half a cup. Okay, half cup. And this left-handed. Right. That goes in here, right? And what we're going to do is we're going to nearly burn this. We're going to nearly burn I it? I should say nearly boil it, not burn it. I was going to say, how okay. do you know if you have to burn it and then go backwards? All right. Yeah. <laughs> how do you figure out these well, things? Well, I was, I mean, how would you say, well, right it's nearly the... burned. It's either okay. burned yeah. or it's not burned. It's... Oh. <laughs> Over here, you have the residue from the, from the sausage. Now, You're going to what... make a roue, a roux. Oh, very good. <laughs> well, not exactly, but I like your terminology. All right, today you're going to put a quarter of a cup of uh, chicken stock. Is that what we have in there? Yes, we have a quarter of a cup of chicken stock. All right, okay. and to that you want to add garlic, three to four garlic. The whole thing? Yeah. All right. Okay, let okay. that cook. Now, you notice how this is thick now. Yeah. Oh, it's okay. very thick. That's yeah. a bechamel sauce. You a don't bechamel. want to get any thicker that than quick. that. quick. Yes, Better nice take it thick. off. Can we take a break here? Sure, absolutely. Right back and bring you the exciting conclusion in volume two of uh, whatever this is we're making. <laughs> Shrimp Napolitan. Be right back. Surprise.
surprise proposals. And I want to ask you to marry me because uh, you're the one. And unexpected answers. Oh, my God. What are you doing? Watch Jenny Jones today at 3 on Channel 8. Arthritis pain, it's a part of my life. That's why I keep Advil close by. Just one works as well as two regular Tylenol. And give me Advil any day over a leave. With that, if your pain comes back, it could be hours before you could take more. I don't have that long wait with Advil. Advil works at the site of minor arthritis pain, stopping it where it starts. Nothing's proven to work better or last longer than Advil. And now introducing new Advil gel caplets. One more advance for Advil. Advanced medicine for pain. Here's the year's biggest news from the Mutter Brothers. It's that time of the year again, the big season sale that everyone waits for. We slash prices on every item in the store. Look for savings on every living room, dining room, bedroom, plus all leather furniture. Even our famous mattresses and adjustable beds are reduced. Our big season sale prices are so low that everything's gonna go but Charlie. Mutter Brothers Furniture in Pinellas Park and Tarpon Springs. Target 8 Investigations, winner of the Emmy Award for their series exposing a local judge who repeatedly played golf during working hours. Is this what the voters elected you to do, Judge? Target 8 Investigations, they're on your side. Well, here it is. It's from Johnsonville. It's called Table for Two, the easiest, best-tasting entrees you've ever tried. And in it, you find two full entrees. You just take the contents here, the two, pop them into boiling water, and 10 minutes later, you've got those entrees ready for you. They're fantastic. They come in seven different flavors. Now, you find them in the fresh meat case at your favorite grocery store. And there are no preservatives or anything like that and never frozen. Seven to choose from. You're going to love them. Give them a try at your favorite grocery store. Table for two from Johnsonville. And now, we are ready to see the exciting what conclusion are we doing of our here? shrimp Napolitano. Now, what we've done is I put the shrimp in here. Right. Okay, now to that. You're gonna add you, this. No, not yet. You wanna okay. add the white sauce. That was my second guess. Yes, <laughs> that's the thickener. Now you wanna add the sausage. And what was right. that called, Bresh something? That's a bechamel. Bechamel. That's a bechamel, it's a white sauce, da, okay? Da, da. Oh, by the okay. way, while I'm throwing this in here, I do want to mention that the uh, largest, let me get the uh, notes on here, which I lost. That's uh, the Johnsonville's largest grill. Big Taste Grill. It's called Johnsonville's Big Taste Grill, the world's largest touring grill. It's, called, it's going to be at the Bayfront Center Friday night at the uh, soccer game, the terror game, and then at the Bucks game on Sunday. And it's going to be here tomorrow, too, right out, out back. We'll uh, get a shot of it on, on television here, too, the okay. Johnsonville Big Taste Grill. What's well, next? We're going uh, to use a little bit of basil. This is uh -huh. fresh basil. I'm not going to finish this up. I'll just tell them what to do. going to chop well, the basil. you got some time. Go do ahead. We? Yeah. Okay. Chop the basil. Chop the basil. I'll let you chop it. Oh, okay. maybe you better No, no chop. more time. We don't have right. more we don't time. Need more time. Okay. The basil goes in here. Oh, right? you got to chop it first. <laughs> okay. Now, see, fortunately, what I did is I cooked this beforehand. What you want to do is chop up a couple onions real oh, quick. Okay, here's some. Okay, right here. Chop you go up on here. some onions. No, we put them on top of here. Put them on there? Yeah, I cover that Whoop, with wait, cheese. There's more. I got here more. Here is chopped. the shrimp. There we go. This is the way it looks. <laughs> got to hurry. Hey. <laughs> and normally we put a little bit of cheese on this, but we're not going to do it oh, today. We're going to do it abnormally. A little bit of grated cheese. My goodness. All right, we're flying here. Alice, gobble that Absolutely down as quick delicious. as you've ever eaten in your life. No, take your time. you got plenty of time here. We don't want to... Yeah. And what do you, you think? You take a bite of that, and then you take a bite of the cheese. Since oh. we didn't break it. <laughs> hey, if you want to get a copy of the recipe, please send a stamp self-addressed envelope to Shrimp Napolitano. Shrimp Napolitano. Or just put sh the shrimp dish. Yeah. Shrimp Johnsonville. Johnsonville. Yeah, Shrimp Johnsonville. Box. Oh, you're really getting into it there, Alice. Hold on. Hold back. we gotta, we got to feed the whole crew. Box 888, Tampa 336. Oh, one. Where did, uh, is, is Donna here? We can get her out. Donna, you ought to try some of this before you go back to them beans and taters up in Minneapolis, <laughs> up in Minnesota. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. What's up tomorrow, Joe? Uh, Larry the Cable Guy, a very Larry Christmas. Oh, Larry the Cable Guy, with a very Larry Christmas. Very you Larry certainly Christmas. don't want to fail to enjoy missing that. Have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow at noon 30 on Harrison Company. <laughs> you on and eat. You on the floor.